Hello again. Today I am working on my next journal page, brainstorming inspiration page for the CD tile mosaics. I started making really large mats uh, of collaged paper. This is one of them. It got pretty thick. And it's just layer after layer after layer of scrap paper. And I did a pretty large one. Each one I've done, I've done multiple, multiple layers. And then when it gets to the top, I'll add some more color. And I did some embossing. And just kind of touch it up and give it its final look. I think I did probably about, I would say, a 4x4 four four square of collage. And this is what I have left after I've cut. When I started the collage each time, I started it on the back, the sticky side of some contact paper that I got at the dollar store. And that way my first layer would stick and I have this nice peelable layer now for when I'm ready to use this tile or obviously uh, cut it up. So I did quite a few different collages with my scraps. a lot of different sizes. My little two inch squares. So I'm gonna take these. Instead of doing a journal page, I'm gonna do the front of my cover. Of my heart. It's a hardback journal. I'm going to collage these on here with probably a mixture of matte gel and flexible uh, modeling paste. I'm going to tape off the edges, try to keep a nice crisp line. I don't want to get it on the bind. I want my book to still function, my journal to still function. With the flexible modeling paste and the matte gel. I'm going to add some color to it so that the the paste itself will act and look like grout and I can still leave the spaces in here. I think it would look really good. And then after I'm done I believe I'm going to retape the edges and try my hand at a thin layer of resin. I think that might look really cool for this book. So I need to prepare my journal to do this work on it. There's the throwaway part of the contact paper that I use to keep the pages clean. So what I'm going to do is tape up my edges here so that way I'm somewhat even on each side. Just so it gives me a little bit of a lip. Do the same on this side. One of my puppies just woke up. She likes to pop open the door of my room. And we're gonna do this side. Now I wanna do it in a little bit further because of this bind. We want to be able to open the book and have it function. So we're gonna go 
just inside this a little bit. Make sure the book is right side up. And then I'm going to mix up the bottling and matte gel with most likely a black, I think. And I will be right back. Alright, so this is all taped off, ready to go. And I mixed some really, really pretty purple, really dark purple. I figured there was a lot of uh, purple in my collage paper, so I think this will work nicely. So let's give this a go. Also, I sanded the book just lightly. Just to, it's already pretty porous, but I just lightly run around it. And just to make things, sure things adhere well. I, I believe they will, though. Anyhow. Such a pretty purple. Now, I'm going to try to get this on here as even as possible. It'll be a little hard to do sections, but I don't want this drying up before we layer our collage paper on here. And I do want this a little bit thicker. This is going to work as our grout and our adhesive. Okay, we're going to put this right here. Press down. So it comes out around the edges. Going to trim this piece. I'm do the same with this piece here. Just trimming off just a little bit so we fit better on this page.
we're going to cut this card. Magic does Everybody's somewhat even here. And a little bit more and get out of here. I really like I have some more under this bottom one here. I like that it's going into rainbow color right there. Like one of my favorite parts. And that's what's fun with making the collage paper like this. And then little pieces of art once you cut it up. And there's so many cool little nooks and crannies that you didn't see as a larger piece of paper. So it's always fun. Alright, these last two here obviously will need to be trimmed a bit. I like that these go together, yeah, somewhat. So, looks like we need to take quite a bit off of them. A little bit more. under the square. Squish down, clean up the edges, and then while this dries, I'll keep coming and pushing down these. That way we're getting a little bit of the paste coming out on the sides, and also that they lay as flat as possible. And then once this is dry, I'll press this with another book and then a 10 pound weight on top of it so everything stays nice and adhered and then obviously this is going to have to dry. Well, we're going to go ahead and let it dry and once it's done I'm going to add a coat of resin on top of it. I think this is going to make a nice journal cover. I think I'm going to put the date and uh, possibly my name up here and uh, be done with it. So a little different this week on the journal page but it's still the journal it's the front page. Hello friends. All right. So this is dried and I'm starting to tape up the edges like so, so that they're sealed and it gives a little enclosed dish area in here so I can pour resin. So I want to keep this bind open that way it doesn't affect the journal because this is a fairly new journal. And I have a lot of work to do in it still. So these edges are taped. I cleaned up edges 
a little bit. Took the tape off. I have these straws. They're just big fat straws. And I'm going to place them here on the bind and then tape up so that way this area stays clear. I want to tape off these so we don't have any resin loss going into the straws. I'm trying to do it as neatly as possible. I'll do it on the other end of this one also. And for now I'm gonna put a little piece of tape here on this bind just to hold this uh, straw in place while I get the other one in place. Now this one, I just need a little tip of it. I'm going to do the same thing with this little piece, this taping both ends. And I'm going to use a little bit, just a little piece of tape. Just to stick down this one, keep it in place. I'm going to go ahead and tape up the top edge here. And then just folding it down in the inside. Try to get these two pieces to come to a corner and then a little excerpt tape right there so it keeps it from running because once you pour the resin it's it's done we'll have what it is I have not done this before and uh, to be honest this is only the second time I'll be pouring resin so we will see what we end up with I'm excited I think this is a decent idea I think this will give my journal, especially since it's an art journal, it'll give it a lot of weight on the top so it'll continue to compress all of my pages because I do a lot of thick work, a lot of thick pages, and uh, I'm always pressing my book but a little extra weight on top is going to be nice I think. Alright, so here's the tricky part. I basically want the resin to go down in here, but not a further. So, we're going to want some straight edges on our tape. As close to the edge as I can. Push this side into this side. These really didn't want to stay, did they? I'm going to go ahead and take this tape out because I'm thinking it might be in my way. Alright, and we're going to line this tape right down to the edge of the book. And we'll come back and seal these edges just to make sure. But what I did here was I put the tape down around the straw and then to the edge of the book. Now we're going to take another take another strip of tape. Get it all the way 
against the bottom of the book again. there we should have a nicely sealed edge so we are ready to pour resin or before I pour I'm going to use some of my contact paper just if we have a run over it will be another barrier so there we go we're ready for the pour I'm gonna look about putting a little bit of embellishment on here and I'll see you back here once it is done and hardened I added some foam sticker numbers for the date and and also these stickers for my name now we pour resin and we'll be done All right, resin is dried. It's pretty shiny. Try not to get too much of the shine in there for you. Got a pretty good pour on here. Right now I am just sanding, rounding off the corners a little bit more so it's comfortable to work with. We had a little resin still spill out right here. Not a whole lot but enough that I had to kind of clean this all up. So I don't really care that it's like this because I'm going to be covering the whole journal at some point. I don't mind that it came out. I mean, for the second try ever of resin, I'm pretty happy with it. So my pages are still functional and, you know, it's added quite a bit of weight to it. relatively even like I said I'm sanding the corners a little bit and then we should be good so let's do this Really not that bad. Yeah. 
So I definitely don't have to wait for the cover to fall apart on this one because it's not going to. I've got a couple little bubbles that came up hours and hours after I poured because uh, I had torched it and everything that I had got all the bubbles up. I must have not had my my gel completely dry under there but there's it's kind of cool though I don't mind it. So yeah, you can resin a book cover. Next time if I were to do this, I would probably do it on a cover that I could completely take off of the book. That way I don't have, you know, any worries of the spilling and, you know, whatnot. So, all right, well, there we go. I've already been working in it, doing some more pages, so. It worked. I love it. If you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel, Mugsy Makes, and uh, check out the other videos I've made, and I will be having some upcoming videos that I think might interest you if you like this. Thank you for watching, and please comment and say hello. I'd love to meet you. Bye-bye.